Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow and welcome to the first, I guess, official video from Creativation 2020. We're super excited to be the media partner again this year and right now I'm going to take you around the new product showcase. So let's go and take a look at everything that's new this year. So Bellagio are bringing us a new range of cork fabric. Lots of it is foiled. There's lots of natural textures and beautiful things. The ones with the watercolors in the back are stunning. Florals, things that look like zebra and animal prints. We've got snake. We have regular cork, just foiling colors. So many different options here at Bellagio. High Standard Products are bringing us a range of yarn balls, beautiful crochet hooks, um, changeable circular needles, um, winding tools, all sorts of amazing yarn accessories here at High Stand. I mean, beautiful. I love the ombre effects on those crochet hooks. The um, winder there is just beautiful. I mean, Greg's going to love that construction in there. So just some really, really pretty products. And of course, we'll be seeing them at their booth as well. So Ranger have a couple of items here in the new product showcase, and this is one of them, the new Stickles Glitter Gel. So these work like a paste. You can see they work on dark, light, and mid-tone cardstocks. They're gonna come in a variety of six colors to start with, but we can spread them through our stencils. We can paint with them. Lots and lots of really pretty effects that we can get with these new Stickles Glitter Gels. And Marvi this year are bringing us a new addition to the Le Pen range. These are the Flex Pens. They have a rubberized brush tip, so they're really flexible. Um, they're super smooth, uh, smear resistant, quick drying, and look at the beautiful array of colors we can get. Everything from pastels to your classics to some really bright, bold colors for us to try out. Olaf are bringing us this new grippy, non-slip coating um, to put onto your projects. Lots again, lots of different options. I'm guessing it's also gonna work like a resist too, so can't wait to see this one in action. So Clover are bringing us the new Swift Bead Tool. Um, this is great for those of us who love to add embellishments to our cards, who stitch, who maybe do beading, embroidery, all of those kinds of things. So another one of those that we want to see in action as to how it makes your crafty life easier. So Soak are releasing their Eco Wash Bag here. And this is great for those of us who love to knit or maybe you sew something delicate. It's gonna keep it protected whilst you're washing it and keep that really you know hours of handiwork we put in looking at its best so these are a new design of circular needle or they're called flyers i'm guessing you can also use them like a double pointed needle lots of different options and i'm looking forward to trying these out in my knitting as well here we have the Krylon whitewash paint. It's great because it works on so many different surfaces. There's loads of options in the booth. We'll cover those as well. But, you know, brick and, you know, all of those kind of surfaces we want to use around the house to give you that distressed look that we all love. So I'm here with Angie at Artbin, who's going to tell us about their new products. Yeah, absolutely. So for 2020, we're excited to announce our vinyl storage tower. Um, one tower can hold 36 rolls of vinyl. It actually has the capability to be stacked too high, which means you can get 72 rolls of vinyl in there. Um, we even sell them still at the single vinyl storage rack. Um, so if someone just wants to have something off their desktop and mount it on the wall, um, they can go ahead and purchase that as well. We have something else uh, for new for 2020 on the other side. That's our desktop organizer. Uh, and that has been designed where it can either hold various paper crafting accessories, yeah. tools, uh, a lot of popular fine artist market mm -hmm. markers, Copics, you know, Great. things like that. Uh, even has an, an intentional front tray where it's bulk storage. You can get erasers if you're a fine artist, um, pencil sharpeners, things like that. Or if you're a paper crafter, you need those squeegees, the spreaders, mm -hmm. there are slots to hold those up as well. Okay. Um, so those are two um, products that we're featuring in the showcase today. We have quite a few others at our booth for this year, uh, including um, a new Double Deep with Trey and uh, even a photo and craft storage organizer. Perfect. Well, we'll see you in the booth. Awesome. Thank you. So we're here at the Airbrush Institute and they're debuting a new 101 course. So tell us about it. Uh, we're at the Airbrush Institute. I'm Mary Ellen Vittori. This is Bob Keeling. Uh, together we wrote a book on how to airbrush. We take you from the very basics. We start out with uh, what you do with the airbrush, uh, how to hook it up, what kind of paints to use, and then we work you through a step-by-step -step program uh, we start you off with some dots and then some lines and daggers, strokes, some textures, and we culminate with four final projects. The best part of the book is in the back. There is uh, workbook pages that That's you great. can follow along with each of the lessons. There's over 50 lessons and four final projects. And we're really excited to be here. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. 
So we're now here at Burn Stencil, which looks really great fun. So tell us a bit more about it. The Burn Stencil is a new product that is a metal stencil that you place on your project and using a small torch, like a creme brulee mm -hmm. torch, you have your burned image in about 30 seconds or less. So it's a new and really quick way to make a wood burning project. Sounds like so much fun. We'll be seeing it at the booth, I'm sure. Wonderful. Thank yes, you. Thank you. So I'm now here at Would You Bend, which looks like really an exciting product. So tell us about it. So Would You Bend is a new product. Mm -hmm. It is made from wood pulp and some olive oil that's put under four tons of pressure for two days in a large stainless steel mold. So we get an amazing amount of detail. Mm -hmm. Once you warm it up with like a hair dryer, okay. you can bend it. Awesome. You can bend it, you can heat it up as many times as you would like, mm -hmm. and then once it's cool, it's going to retain the shape that you put it in. And you just need a good quality wood glue to adhere it. You don't need anything special. And it's wood, so it takes paint and stain just right. like wood, because okay. it is wood. Perfect. Thank you so yes. much. We can't You're wait welcome. to see it. Yes, come Thanks. play. So next up we have Ecstasy Crafts, and they've got something that definitely sparkles. So tell us about yes, it. Yes, we're very excited to show off our new products. We are a distributor for for various products, mm -hmm. and of our, we distribute for uh, Creative Expressions products, and these two particular products are, are opal polish. The opal polish has a nice mica finish in it that allows it to spread different, to be a different color on a black or on a white cardstock. So you can see on the white it has a bit of an opal hue of a purple, right. and on the black on the other side it actually has the purple effect, but okay. it's a white polish. And it is water-based. The applicator is just in the lid mm -hmm. of the container, and it's easily sp spread on cardstock or any sort of porous material. Okay. Our other product that we're excited about is the Aurora Flakes. This Aurora Flakes is a metallic foil flake that is very wow. glittery mm -hmm. as well as sparkly, and then it can be ap applied using a double-sided tape or glitter flake glue mm -hmm. and then you just sprinkle this on and then burnish it onto the area right. and then it absorbs into the glue or the tape and becomes a solid background. Awesome, well, we can't wait to see it in your booth. Great, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. So I'm with Jennifer of Great Southern Yarn, so tell us what you have here in the showcase. In the showcase we have our 100% Australian yarn that is both ethical and sustainably produced. Wonderful. Um, we have about 150 sheep that um, we source our lovely merino from mm -hmm. and uh, we take a lot of care with the hand dyeing and it's just a beautiful product. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'm here at Flex Needles and tell us what you have in the showcase. We have a uh, Knitting, straight knitting needles that bend at the wrist level. Mm -hmm. They help to relieve pain and t tiredness due to repetitive knitting motion. Okay. They help to accommodate tight knitting work spaces. Mm -hmm. They're very lightweight and warm to the touch. For people that have arthritis or tendonitis or even new beginners, mm -hmm. they're really great. All right, thank you so much. So I'm here with Kelly Marie of Lawn Fun, and I gushed about this dye yesterday in our roundup. So tell us more about it. Yeah, so this is the Magic Iris dye from Lawn Fun, and as you pull the tab, it does this amazing, almost aperture style opening, and it reveals something inside. There's so much fun to decorate, very easy to yes. put together, super, super cute. And we have some add-ons that help you decorate it. So this one integrates it into your card front for a totally different look. You can see we reveal the star inside. You can even stamp on this as well. So here, we stamped on it, and as you open it, the fortune cookie cracks open and the <laughs> fortune is inside. You can get so creative with this. We're so excited to see what everybody does with it. They're a blast to make, and they're even more fun to play with. So we're really thrilled about it, um, and I think you guys are just going to have so much fun with it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So now we're at We Are Memory Keepers, and they always have something new and exciting, so tell us what we've got. Right, we have something very exciting. This is our mold press machine. It turns everyday objects into molds and plastic forms that you can use to create whatever you want. So, for example, right now we put a seashell in there, mm -hmm. and, uh, and what this machine does is it takes a piece of plastic, right. and it heats it up at the top and softens it. And then you actually just plug your at-home vacuum into the mm -hmm. back of the machine, 
and between the uh, softened plastic and the suction of the vacuum, it molds and forms around whatever you've placed in the machine. So I like to think of, of it as kind of a low-tech 3D printer. You don't need crazy files. Right. Um, you know, it's really accessible. Um, so we put a seashell in here, as I mentioned before. It's molded around it, and now we can use that to mold, uh, you know, a candle mm -hmm. or a piece of chocolate, or we can actually use the plastic itself to create like a shaker card. So it really allows the maker to yeah. go crazy with their ideas. It's a, a tool that facilitates whatever they want to do, um, and we're really excited about All it. All right, we can't wait to see it in action. Yeah, thank definitely. you. Thank you. The next up, we have a Dynasty Brush, and you all know how much I love my paint brushes. So let, tell us what you've got here at the showcase. We have a brand new brush that we're releasing just mm -hmm. here at the show. It's called Water Lily. Okay. And it is very, very super soft bristles mm -hmm. and it holds a lot of fluid paint. So whether you're doing watercolor, right. fluid media, or ink, anything that you need to carry a lot of fluid uh, media with mm -hmm. it, this one is ideal. It has super sharp chisel edge, Great. lots of bristles in the middle mm -hmm. so that it holds that fluid. So when I go to use this, and I'm going to just lay down some water first, I'm just working on some watercolor paper, and I want to show you the nice release that this has for your color. That looks and great. I can just walk it out, nice, smooth, even release of the paint. Wonderful. We it's can't gorgeous. wait to see it in the booth. Okay, Thank great. You. Thank you. So now we have ThermoWeb. Now I took their classes today and I learned so much. They're a great new product. So tell us about them, Dawn. Hi everybody, Dawn at ThermoWeb. So the first products I'd like to introduce are new formulas of our DecoFoil Transfer Gel. So our existing transfer gel, you would stencil it on, it would dry clear and glossy and hard, but you would have to use a laminator, a hot laminator, to transfer the foil or the flux. So with pressure from a die cut machine now, which most people already have, you can transfer foil or flock to your really intricate designs. The other new transfer gel we have is Transfer Gel Blanco. <laughs> It's like the original transfer gel, but it dries white so that you have better color accuracy on dark cardstock or ink blended backgrounds. Um, so we really recommend that most people probably are going to want to pick up the Duo and the Blanco, just depending on the ways they're going to use it. Right. So we actually did come out with Pixie Spray last year, but we didn't have it in time to put in the showcase. So we really wanted to draw attention for people that um, Pixie Spray is fantastic with your more intricate stencils. You're going to spray it on and let it dry. Mm -hmm. Stick it down to your cardstock or paper and it's going to give crisp results. You remove the stencil and it won't tear your paper or leave adhesive. It's, it's amazing. I mean, it's one of our top five viewed videos. People love it Fantastic. so Fantastic. We're happy to hear it. It really is a lifesaver oh, yeah. if you stencil a lot. The other product is our purple tape, and you see in the showcase a new design. Mm -hmm. There are other companies out there selling a product called purple tape. Right. It isn't our purple tape. So we added our little ThermoWeb logo to ensure that people are, are getting the actual purple tape. Um, and it's got actually this new one, a little lighter tack. So if you do it, um, if you use it with die cutting, it isn't going to tear the paper Perfect. or leave any adhesive yeah. behind. Okay, this is our Glitz Glitter Gel. So we debuted Glitz, I believe, last year with Gina K in the original nine colors. This year, Gina K has four new shades, including the most gorgeous iridescent Glitz Glitter Gel. Um, really, really stunning effects when using stencils, or you can just apply it to your cardstock and let it dry and then die cut shapes from it. Um, and the other uh, part of the Glitz release is the new Rena K Designs Neon Glitz as part of her Electropop collection. And those colors really just give you a nice, vibrant summertime look. They're gorgeous. And now we have Rena's new collection as well. So tell us about it. Okay, so this is a collection that I designed with ThermoWeb based on my Electropop Neon Ink that I released this summer. So I've always wanted cards that scream in your face. Oh, yeah. I'm really loud, I'm really crazy. And I like neon and I think it's coming back so I pitched this idea to ThermoWeb to create a neon line of embellishments for cards Fantastic. because neon inks are great but it's hard to find stuff that matches right. them so we decided to create flock glitz and enamel which is a new product and all of these go with the deco foil transfer gel mm -hmm. and I'm releasing two new sets that have a stamp and stencil system so you can create completely unique looks 
with just one set. You can flock them, you can glitz them, you can use a pencil, you can do anything with them. I made like 24 of one of these stamps cut out and I made, managed <laughs> to make them all look different. So, And then this w product is our newest product. This is called the Neon Enamel. Mm -hmm. It works the same way as the deco foil, right. but it is a flat neon color with a shine. So it's almost kind of like my nail polish. Awesome. So I like to call it polish, but it's enamel and we're really excited about it. it works very well. And it's a great way to add embellishments to your neon cards. Yeah. Thanks, Rena. We can't wait to try it. I'll come to the booth. I'll be well, there. So we're here at Dress My Craft, and they've got two showcases. So tell us about the first one. Okay, so hi. This is Dress My Craft. You know, so this is Shalini, and this is Darshna. So I'm going to just start and tell you a little about this one. So I know you guys know a lot about the shrink print plastic. I mean, but this is not a normal plastic. This is called shrink print sheets, and they come in frosted colors. And whatever we have done is from this basic thin sheet and they have been converted in this beautiful jewelry. I want you to know actually from the designer itself who has created this one. So she's gonna be Darshna Savla who has actually done everything for us. So I wanna make sure that she gives you enough information on the same and actually take you a, a tour through it. Hi everyone. So as you can see, these are shrink print frosted sheets. They are frosted on one side and they are clear on the other side. So you can use both the sides. You can use all the possible color mediums for this. You can use, you know, Sharpies and Copics on both the sides. You can use your soft pastels, your color pencils, your watercolors on the frosted side. You can even stamp on it. You can even die cut it. You can hand cut it. So there are, it's very versatile and it is very soft and very easy to use. Thereafter, you can also shape them. So once you heat it, we shape it with the help of our ball tools we have our groove tools we have a special embossing pads for the same and they will give you very beautiful and versatile designs and it's not only jewelry you can create many 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 other pieces out of it and you can see the shiny side and the frosted side both will give you different look both will give you a different results and you can see that the shiny side and the back side also you can give and kind of give groove lines so you can groove your veins or the flower petals you can groove lines on the leaves as well you can fill in the color to highlight those veins in a contrasting color and then you can fill in a contrasting color on the all over background and you can see this tiny little blue flower there in the center over here which will show you the details of it so this is all that I have to say I just about want to add one thing. I just want to add one thing that we have got a beautiful product called heat resistant tweezer that's one of its own kind generally when you use a heat twe a tweezer it burns your hand or the tweezer becomes you know very uh, kind of hot but we are introducing a product called heat resistant tweezer so when you're using the tweezer it doesn't really become hot and it has a ceramic tip and it's very very easy to use with shrink plastic and shrink ring sheets as well so I think that's all what we have and we have got everything nice and beautiful display here so what do we have here oh Okay, so this is our second uh, new product showcase mm -hmm. because we wanted to make sure that we have all the products on display, whatever you wanted to see. These are very popular ones. We have these, we call them shaker elements. Uh, so they are very versatile. You can use them for shaker cards. You can actually use them for shaker tags as well. And if you see this little tiny globes here, we are actually making a lot of key rings out of them as well. And not only that much, people, and I'm sure the children, you know, they love slime and they're perfect for the slime and they're not, you know, going to hurt you. Sometimes when you use a slime with some beads or something and when you're going to mash it, too, yeah, it's too hard for your skin, but they are very soft. They're made of Japanese clay. So they are very good quality. They come in they come in individual packaging as well, and they come in combos. So when you're buying a combo and you get short of one, we don't want you to buy the combo all over again. Because I know if you like kiwi, you don't want that another stuff to come along with that. So we have a single kiwi available for you. So whatever you want, all the shaker elements for you guys, for your shaker tags, shaker cards, for your nails, for any kind of decoration, for your planner things, everything is out here. So this is the most adorable thing probably for anyone who is crafting. So enjoy. Enjoy crafting more with our shaker elements. Thank you. Welcome. So Anzula have some new colours of their fingering yarn for us. Beautiful new colours here in that mint that we seem to be seeing everywhere. So Rustoleum have some new colours for us. They also have the iridescence for us, which is super cute in the spray form. And then it seems that whitewash is really going to trend this year. So they've got their wood enhances whitewash. Um, looks like it only goes on wood, whereas the one we saw earlier goes on brick. And then they have their testers paint, which is a new fabric paint aerosol. Love the fact we have glitter in that too. And then finally, we have the coloured chrome aerosol. That looks absolutely awesome. I love the one with the extra glitter and shimmer in it. So Cryon have a new glitter finish paint which is coming in a can so it looks like it can go on a variety of surface, surfaces. That will be really exciting, we'll see it more in the show. 
This one is one of the international uh, stands and they have a new range of snap fasteners, uh, lots of different colours and sizes and shapes and then also the snap fastener tool. So Life of the Party have a variety of things to make, soaps at home, different scrubs, all sorts of fun things that you can make at home in your craft room. Shawbunda have Lynn Lilly's new glue gun, which you all know I absolutely love. I cannot wait um, for you to see that video if you haven't already. And there's that new fine tip on there too. Here we have the beginner craft knife. So a safe design, um, blades covered in plastic so you can't hurt yourself. Really great idea. I can't wait to actually see it in the booth and see someone demo the features to us. Plaid have this new range of paint called FX, which is a cosplay paint, so you can put it on foam, it doesn't crack or peel when you flex it. Lots of different finishes as well, lots of different colours too, so we'll be showing that in the Plaid booth and it's really exciting to see them enter something completely new. So Plaid also have their new Pure Artist pigments, which is a bit like an acrylic watercolour, it moves like watercolour. And then they have their pre-mixed pouring paints, so no more adding pouring medium to things. And then we have Glitterific, which is a high glitter uh, that includes polka dots in it as well. You can use it on lots of different services. And then more of their treasured golds, gold in lots of new colours too.